Today we are reviewing G.I. Joe Classified Series Sergeant Stalker. Stay tuned. What's your favorite scary movie? Hey guys, me host Super Sorrow. Thank you very much for tuning in. Look what I got. I got the G.I. Joe Classified Series Sergeant Stalker. Now, as I always say at the beginning of every G.I. Joe video, I don't hold G.I. Joe in any form of nostalgia for me, as these weren't toys I had when I was a kid. So, just bear that in mind, I don't have the best G.I. Joe knowledge, but I love these new action figures. They are great military action figures, and it's great to have a bunch of them. Like, I've, I've recently picked up um, the Sergeant Slaughter from, from Action Force, which goes with them beautifully. And uh, there's, a, there's a couple more from Action Force I want. I've got a mixture of the Joes going on, and a couple of customs, and I'm making a good platoon of soldiers. They look great when you're doing dioramas against, like, the Predator or things like Alien and stuff like that. And it's just great to have a bunch of soldiers to use in action figure photography. And the G.I. Joe line really does, you know, work that very well for me. So I'm enjoying coll you're collecting them for a military action figure review kind of thing. So this is Sergeant Stalker, and he's got a bunch of accessories, which is really cool. So let's go ahead and bust him out of the box. So going straight to desk here, we've got the figure itself, which is very nice, of course. We'll look at that in just a moment. But we've got a ton of accessories to go through, which is really cool. So he does come with um, a sort of neck scarf piece uh, to provide him shelter and shade in the, the deserts, things like that. That's pretty cool. Obviously, he's got his beret, which is nice. Again, same, same sort of one that I think came with Flint. But yeah, we've got a nice beret there, which is nice. Oops. Um, but then we've got the knife. The knife is pretty cool. I'm going to pop that straight into the knife part here. So that is now safely seconced. Uh, we've got his pistol, which has got like an extended magazine, I believe that is, on the end there. Pretty cool. And again, I can plonk that straight into the magazine port. Oh, sorry, the pistol port, which is just here. Pistol, the, the holster seems very big for the pistol, but it slides in very nicely, fits in lovely. Um, we've got, I believe that's meant to be a stick of magazine. Uh, he's, we've got a telephone radio, satellite radio. I think that's meant to go in there. For him, so I'm going to pop that in. It slides through beautifully, so I'm going to say that's the case. I'm going to pop that in there. I suppose the magazine would fit in there as well. It might be a bit thin, but it might fit. Um, he's got a backpack piece, which slots in with via the little nub. And that's to carry his extra weapon. So I believe that's going to be the big boy. The big boy shotgun. Yeah, that's in there. So if I turn him around, we can place that in his back. And port that in. There we go. That's now ported in. Uh, we've got a secondary gun. Which is like a... Uh, Pistol, machine gun, uh, another little clip here, that's like an extended magazine clip again, so I'm not sure what they're for, so that, there's the, so there's a, there's the hole there, to stick the magazine in, which, which way does it go around? There you go, so that's so there's like you can load and unload the magazine, which is pretty cool. I like I like that. And then the big the big one. Um I'm guessing that's gonna go in the big gun, right? Although I can't see a port for it on the big gun actually. Oh no, there is. So the port's kind of underneath. So you can just push that in. And then that comes out the side. Looks, it is. A, it's not a shotgun actually. It's a machine gun. So that's very cool. So obviously, I have to take that off to put it in his back. His back bling. His back bling. What am I playing Fortnite? <laughs> so that's, again, that's pretty cool. The little harness does pull down, so it doesn't affect if you want to add the little, um, you know, the calf gun or not. I'm guessing you can just pull his head. Head off, yes. Heads just pull off just like the Marvel Legends. You can pop the little neck, the um, piece on there and then pop that head back on. 
I'm probably going to leave that piece on, to be fair, because I do like it. It is very cool. Head's very loose now. I've done now popped it off, by the way. Yeah, I'm, going, I'm probably going to leave that on. And then we've got his beret to attach. That's a very cool looking fig. Of course, he's got his awesome two weapons as well, which I like. Probably going to use the big, the big machine gun more than anything, though, to be honest. Always want the biggest weapon possible, don't you? Can't really dual wield it though, can't really put his other hand on it. But either way, that is a beautiful figure. I really like the look of this. Just to cover off basic articulation, heads on of all joints, you can make him look up, down, left, and right, and he's got plenty of pivot there as you can see. Arms lift out to the side as well as rotate, rotation of the bicep, double hinged elbows, hands are on a ball joint. Uh, we can crunch him around at that. There's no sort of abdomen crunch, but um, oh, there is, there is, but it's just a little bit harder. There we go. Yeah, there is crunch and there is waist swivel. Um, other than that, legs lift out to the side with a top thigh cut. Uh, there are double hinged knees on there. Is there a boot cut? On yeah, always a boot cut on G.I. Joe's. And the feet are on rocker and pivot with display base. But this guy's been standing pretty sturdy all the way through this review. So I don't think you're going to need any form of um you know stand for this guy i think he's pretty sturdy and a very very decent action figure which i do like a lot he's a great addition to the gi joe line i'm not sure if i'm going to use the back piece very often um but yeah he's a great addition to the gi joe line and uh, definitely a great figure to have in the series is it one that you've got for your collection guys i'd love to know in the comments whether it's something you're picking up for yourself so let us know in the comments below Sergeant Slaughter is a uh, Sergeant Slaughter Sergeant Stalker is a fine addition to the GI Joe line and comes with tons of accessories. The GI Joe line continues to amaze me with each, with each release. To be honest, I always look at some of them and go, "That looks like the most boring release possible." Just like I did with this guy, I kind of looked at Sergeant uh, Stalker originally and I was like, "Yeah, it's just a basic green camo soldier." What could be possibly exciting about this one? And then the tons of accessories he comes with is just immense. Uh, so definitely worth picking up. And like I say, the G.I. Joe line just keeps going from strength to strength. They just keep releasing newer action figures with bigger and better accessories. The other teams at Hasbro could take note from how to produce great figures like this because ton the amount of accessories, yes, the prices are the same as Marvel Legends and the price is the same as, as, as most of the Black Series, but the amount of accessories you get with him, the customizability of being able to remove certain pieces of the clothing makes it an, a series that you can army build very easily with uh, using the same figures because you can head pop and things like that. You can make so many different variants of Soldier. It's awesome. So G.I. Joe is definitely a line um, that I'm impressed with and continually to be impressed with. But what are your thoughts, guys? Let us know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video today, please make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Subscribing really supports us. It really helps us out and helps us to keep making awesome videos like this. So, guys, until next time, may the force be with you.